A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. Mexico City, Tropical Storm Ileana made landfall on the coast of the Mexican state of Sinaloa Saturday, a day after it unleashed heavy rain and strong winds on the resort area of Los Cabos. The storm, which formed off Mexico's Pacific coast on Thursday, arrived with sustained winds of 40 miles per hour, 65 kilometers per hour, and made landfall near the coastal city of Topolobampo. As of late Saturday, it was reported to be approximately 15 miles, 25 kilometers, south-southeast of Los Machos, moving north at a speed of 6 miles per hour, 10 kilometers per hour. Forecasters from the Miami-based National Hurricane Center indicated that Ileana would continue to churn over northern Sinaloa for several hours before moving over the Gulf of California, where it is expected to weaken into a tropical depression. Prior to Ileana's landfall, a tropical storm warning had been issued for parts of the Baja California Peninsula, including popular tourist destinations like Cabo San Lucas and San Jose del Cabo. Juan Manuel Arce Ortega, from Los Cabos Civil Protection, announced that classes in the municipalities of La Paz and Los Cabos were suspended as a precautionary measure. Authorities had set up 20 temporary shelters in San Jose del Cabo and Cabo San Lucas to accommodate residents in need of refuge. At the Hacienda Beach Club and residences in Cabo San Lucas, valet worker Alan Galvin reported that the rain began late Thursday night and has continued steadily since. The rain isn't very strong right now, but the waves are choppy, he said. The guests are very calm and already came down for coffee. There's some flights canceled, but everything is okay at the moment. Despite the relatively calm demeanor of the guests, the rain persisted throughout Friday, leading to flooded roads and resorts taking precautions by stacking sandbags around their properties. Some locals were seen navigating the boat docks with umbrellas, demonstrating a spirit of resilience. The priority has to be safety, starting with the workers. We always have to check on our colleagues who live in risk areas, said Lizette Lasega, a tour operator at Los Cabos. We give them the information shared by the authorities, firefighters in risk areas, so that they can go to the shelters if necessary. Ileana was the only active tropical storm in the National Weather Service's Eastern Pacific Basin as of Friday. Meanwhile, in the Atlantic Basin, post-tropical cyclone Francine was causing heavy rain in parts of the southern United States while Tropical Storm Gordon formed in the Atlantic Ocean, expected to remain over open water for several days. As of Saturday, Mexico issued a tropical storm warning along the coast from Altada to Huatabampito and lifted all watches and warnings for Baja California Sur after the storm had passed. Ileana was moving northward over the southern Gulf of California, approximately 70 miles, 110 kilometers, east of La Paz, with maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour, 65 kilometers per hour. The situation remains serious, with warnings in place for northern Sinaloa and extreme southern Sonora. Juan Manuel Arce Ortega reiterated the importance of safety, urging residents to avoid crossing rivers, streams, and low-lying areas where they could be swept away by floodwaters. All schools in Los Cabos were suspended on Friday in response to the storm's approach. Oscar Cruces Rodriguez of Mexico's Federal Civil Protection emphasized that residents should remain indoors until the storm passes, and those in flood-prone areas should seek out temporary shelters. The rain continued to fall consistently through Friday afternoon, leading to additional flooding in the region. Some businesses were forced to adapt quickly, with resorts and local establishments taking emergency precautions. We are awaiting further advisories from authorities, Galvin added highlighting the uncertainty that still loomed over the area. Despite the challenges presented by the storm, the community's commitment to safety and preparedness was evident. Many residents and business owners worked together to ensure that information was disseminated effectively, and those in vulnerable positions were encouraged to seek shelter. As the storm approached, the government and local agencies were on high alert, ready to respond to any emergencies that might arise. The forecast predicted that Ileana would begin weakening Saturday night and dissipate by Monday, but not before potentially bringing up to 10 inches of rain to portions of northwest coastal Sinaloa. In historical context, hurricane activity tends to peak in mid-September, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The impact of tropical storms like Ileana serves as a reminder of the importance of preparedness and community resilience in the face of natural disasters. 
As the storm moves away, the focus will shift to recovery efforts and ensuring the safety of those affected. In summary, Tropical Storm Eliana has made a significant impact on the coastal regions of Mexico, particularly in Sinaloa and the Baja California Peninsula. With authorities on high alert and community members banding together for safety, the region is bracing for the storm's aftermath while hoping for a swift return to normalcy. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.